and welcome back. So this video will be the continuation of the previous video which we had for on Glide Form APIs. Okay. Uh, we are participating in this service now JavaScript in challenge and this is the second day for that. Okay. So uh, if you have not seen the previous video, please go and watch it. Okay. Uh, and as you can see on my screen, okay, so we have added a couple of error messages, couple of information and so on as a part of the previous video. So just go and check out because this video will be on top of that video, okay? So we will start exploring other functions of the Glide form APIs, okay? And let's get started. So the first, first function which we want to see today is clear message, okay? So what this clear message does, before that let me create one uh, one script okay so I'll go with okay I will I will I will go with the second tab okay and I will do configure client script first client script client script and we will create one more client script on top of the previous one. So the previous one was Glide Form. We will create it a Glide Form 2. So I will create Glide Form 2. 2. And we will make it on change this time. Okay. So we will do it on change and on change of what. So let's make it on change of category field. Okay. And I will save this out. Okay, it's a draft. So we have created this script out. Okay, and now let's move on with the first function. So the first function in our list is the first function on our list is clear messages. Okay, so the what this particular function does. So this particular function removes all the information and error message from the form okay so you can see there are tons of messages okay which are there on the form now using this particular method we can remove those out how let's look into that so I'll go over here okay and it's change of category okay so we will go over here and we will do g underscore form form dot clear messages okay that's it. It doesn't ask for any argument, okay, because it doesn't need one, right? So what it does, it just clear out the message, okay, from this, from the form. So we'll save it out, we'll go over here, and we will reload. So ideally, it should vanish all the messages which are there on the form, okay? Let's see. It got loaded, but nothing happened, okay, why nothing happened? Clear messages. Mm -hmm. Reload the form again. Oh, why it didn't happen? Because it's on the change of category. Sorry, my bad. So we have error messages uh, and info message. Now I will change the category to software, and boom, all the messages are gone. Okay, this is what this particular function does. The next method in our list is clear option. So what this particular function does. We have to pass a field name inside that and what it does, it removes all the choice list from all the choice option from that for that particular field. So, and it works only on choice field, right? Because we have option for choice field only. So for example, let's uh, what to screw up. Okay. Let's look at the channel. Okay. And it has a couple of choice fields. Now we want to vanish it out. Uh, you can consider it in a scenario where uh, you don't want to provide a choice based on certain criteria that if a user is having minimal role right why you want to give them the choice to change the state so you can clear the state option I'm just thinking out loud right about the use case so how we can implement that so we will be removing from here so it's contact type okay I will just get the name so that we can vanish it out for this contact type We'll go over here and the same context. Okay, I will just zoom out a little bit. It's g underscore form dot clear options and it's asked for which particular field you want to clear the options for. So you can simply provide a string input 
which is contact type and save it out so if I go back over here and if I reload the form right reload 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 leave so currently you can see ch channel has couple of things underneath it okay and also we have this error messages bothering us out now if I change the category to software let's see what happens now the message is gone as well as the choices are gone for the channel isn't it amazing I really like it okay so this is second method in our list today let's move on to the third method which is clear values so what this particular function does it removes any value for from the field for example you want to blank make this blank short description you want to remove description or any other field on the form it doesn't matter what field type it is so you can use this particular function out okay so for example if if you ask me an example which is coming on top of my mind for example if there is a user okay which has a role called bad guys okay which just want to screw the system which just want to create unwanted incident so whenever they create an incident okay now uh, if there is a if they are applying template okay you can simply remove clear the description short description value so that they have to provide what exactly they are trying to do okay so let's move and we will remove it from description let's clear the description so I will go on show just get the name for that okay description copy I'll go over here and I will do g underscore form dot clear value so we are covering all the clear things right and clear from what so it's description right pretty easy to implement right I will save it out and I will load the form reload the form leave okay Mm -hmm. so now the description is filled right okay now I'll change the category to software okay and now you can see the description got vanished right this is what that particular function does now moving on to the next method which is disable attachment so uh, consider use case for some group members you want to disable the attachment you don't want them to provide an attachment right okay so you can disable it out easily on the client side using this particular function okay which is called disable attachments so how to implement so as you can see currently you can attach the implement attachments right if you click on this choose file and you can choose anything okay for example um, let's take my technomog okay and the attachment is getting attached to this particular record but now if you want to disable this particular thing then you can use that particular function out okay so it already got attached so I will go over here and the syntax for that is like it doesn't ask any attributes okay arguments are not attributes so form dot disable attachments pretty easy pretty handy and we can do the save for that okay so if the, and you can define all kind of conditions right that if category is software you don't want attachment and all those things out okay so I will reload the form again whenever you are doing anything whenever you are adding anything on the client side just reload the form because that's where it starts reflecting as you will bang your head why it's not visible for me and you will not get the answer so now let's try to change the category to hardware okay and now you can see that particular icon got vanished right so you want to have a category like if um, and uh, now if I do um, there is another function now you will be asking okay we disable the attachment how we can enable the attachment right so for that we have a function called enable attachment okay so consider a uh, consider a validation that if category I will do the ca the whenever we change it out okay now it's 
it's not visible right okay for example if i do if i want on um so if i do this if g underscore form dot get value of category is so we just want to hide it for uh for what we can say software okay so i will just look at the choice value for the this okay so I'll show choices leave and if the category is software okay then only we want to disable it out as we want to enable it out okay so you can do like this if the category is software then i want to make it disable okay here and this could form dot disable attachment i want to disable it out else i want to enable it out so i can go g and discard form dot enable attachment so only for software when we change it to the software it should get disabled okay it's mixed up tabs so i will just align it out i will save it out now and now if i reload the form okay let's see If I reload the form, so we have attachment enabled right now. Okay, why? Okay, because we are not changing anything. So if I change this to software, okay, it didn't get disabled. Why? I think I messed up something. If category is software, category is software. then disable attachment else this enable attachment so i change to software right what is the back and value so i will go for show choices again oh my god and value is software only right oh showing inactive is there any other software Oh, for incident, I will use show matching for incident. So we have software small. Mm hmm. Keep this in mind. Okay. Whenever you do configure choices, it will show you choices from all the table which extend task table. So don't make mistake which I did. Okay. So I'll go back. Back. And. We will will reload the form just to be sure. Okay. Now if I change it to uh, now if I change this category to software, it should disable this particular icon. So if I change the category to software, it got vanished. Now if I want to re-enable it out, I will change it to something else. For example, hardware, and it came up. Pretty amazing, right? And the last. method in today's session is flash it's not that marvel flash or sorry dc flash uh for this flash method does okay so the flash method is used to draw attention to a particular to a particular field okay uh you can flash the field out okay so that uh, a person will grab an attention when he opens up the form for example in our case we give we want to flash caller id because that is the most important caller underscore id so what is the syntax for that so that the syntax for the same is it's let's add to the software only whenever it got changed to software so what you have to do is underscore form dot flash so you have to go flash okay and this particular function as for 
three attributes okay one is the field name so we will give caller id underscore sorry underscore id the second argument which is asked for is a hex code okay for the color which you want to have flash of okay so i have a hex code for the same okay i will just paste that hex code and the last attribute is for how much duration you want that particular thing out okay so it's a numeric field okay account okay we specify how long the label will flash okay and it has you sh you can't give 1600 seconds and all those kind of things it has couple of options okay with it so if you give 2 it flashes for 1 second if you give 0 it flashes for 2 second if you give minus 2 it flashes for 3 second if you give minus 4 it flashes for 4 second okay it's quite weird okay but let's go and try it out for 0 okay and i will save it out okay it's for category software only right so saved go back to incident reload the form as always leave okay and now if i change it out to what we can say category to software right you can see it was flashing right right let's do it once again let's because it's removing the focus right let's remove the description thing i will just okay remove it out so if i reload the form now and if i change it out okay to software so you can see the flash is happening on the color field right okay so this is all for today's tutorial hope you like it out okay please like follow subscribe to my channel to get the latest notification of the upcoming videos okay till then stay safe stay happy and please do participate in this service now chat scripting challenge okay i am learning a lot out of it okay Then thank you and have a nice day. Ahead.